Hi there, Internet. I'm John Oliver, host of Last Week Tonight, a show that you probably watch on YouTube for free, although maybe free isn't quite the right word, because even on YouTube you do have to look at this, meaning you are, in a very real sense, paying a price. Now, we're still on hiatus at the moment, but I wanted to come back for a minute to give you a quick update on something that we mentioned last season, and it concerns Pringles. You know, the product that looked at potato chips and inexplicably thought, what about that, but worse, and delivered via tube. You may remember that towards the end of the year, I played a clip of Don Lemon pestering a man with questions about when election results would come in that he didn't have the answer to, and I responded like this. Leave the man alone! At that point, it would have been just as productive to ask him, when will penguins learn how to fly? Or, when is Michael Keaton gonna win an Oscar? Or, what does the rest of the Pringle guy's body look like? Is he tall or short? Does he have a lot of body hair? Or is he completely smooth? When will you be able to tell me what his nipples look like? Are you talking hours? Or are you talking days? Now, that was a perfectly fine joke there, because there is a lot that we don't know about the Pringles guy. In fact, the only thing we do know is that his head looks like a hard-boiled egg disguised as Tom Selleck. And I honestly didn't really think much about that joke again. But it seems that a lot of you did. Because after our show aired, people went out of their way to either draw or find drawings of what people feel the Pringles guy does look like from the neck down. And at the end of such a depressing, isolating year, it was genuinely uplifting to see. Because you tweeted a variety of illuminating drawings, like this one, captioned Mr. Pringles' nipple reveal, which seems to have combined the head of Mr. Pringles with the body of Baymax from Big Hero 6 with nipples and the belly button drawn on. Also, the shorts of a sexual predator. Then, there was this depiction of a portly Mr. Pringles sporting a bow tie and some thriving armpit hair, a look that just screams unemployed Chippendale, and there was an artist who sent us not one, not two, but three excellent renderings of a body-positive Mr. Pringle, none of which were produced for us, by the way. As his caption notes, I've dedicated the last several years to studying his anatomy, and that is time well spent. And I will say this, he single, he Pringle, he ready to mingle. If that is not Pringles' new slogan, they're exactly as bad a company as I imagine they are. Now, a few of you knew exactly how good the drawings that you found were, like this one captured this picture of the Pringles man is canon, which is simply excellent. Others went in a different direction, like this slender man, Mr. Pringles, or this one envisioning him as a hermit crab, or this spectacular piece portraying him as an octopus. Honestly, the whole response has been absolutely fantastic. The only thing that doesn't sit well with me is just how silent Pringles has been on this matter, because it's not like they don't maintain an active Twitter presence. They've tweeted before, if we named Pringles the same way football got its name, Pringles would be known as Mouth Crisp. They've also tweeted, mixed breed puppies are like the flavor stack of puppies, which actually feels offensive. I'm just not entirely sure why, but still no answer to our very basic question. And I know that they respond to people online because I've seen it. Once someone tweeted at them, your sour cream and onion chips taste a bit like throw up, but still they are my favorite. Is this a problem? To which Pringles responded immediately with, please send us a DM with your contact information so we can get this handled. But the thing is, that person wasn't even complaining. They weren't looking for a refund or free chips. They wanted an answer. And the reason I know that is because they shot back, I was just wondering if that is a problem. And all of that makes me wonder even more, why is Pringles dodging our question here? We're truly not asking for a lot. We've seen a ton of excellent, excellent Pringles bods. We just need to know which one is canon. Is it Hermit Pring? Is it this Hot Daddy Pring? I'd prefer if it was the second one. I just need to know the truth. Because I know so many other pointless facts about Pringles. I know that their mascot's official name is Julius Pringles. And I know that the guy who came up with the Pringles tube was so proud of his design that when he died, he had his ashes put in a Pringles can and buried, which is a choice. I also know that Pringles calls its product a crisp for a reason, and that is that they don't meet the FDA's definition of a potato chip, which is pretty wild. How janky does your product need to be not to meet that basic definition? My point here is, I know so much useless information about Pringles, but not the one thing that I really want to know, which is, what is Julius Pringles working with from the neck down? Do I need to know this? No, I don't. Do I want to? Yes, very badly. So much so that I'm willing to give 
$10,000 to Feeding America if Pringles answers my question, on the condition, of course, that they don't spend a fucking penny of that money on Pringles, because it's a garbage snack. It's garbage. The ball is in your court, guys. The choice is yours. Do the right Pring here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back in February. Until then, please stay safe. Goodbye.